Thank you, Mark. Well, good morning, everybody. I want to start by saying I don't think there's anyone more deserving of a Heisman than this guy, Max Duggan. And I want to also thank the committee for recognizing that and making Max one of the finalists and also for saying that they think he is one of the best college athletes in the country. We at TCU, we don't think he's one of the best college athletes in the country. We think he's the best college athlete in the country. And the reason we think that is because of what Max is both on and off the field. On the field, Max is a dynamo. Look at his stats. He's incredible. You just watch him play, and you can't help but be on his side. But it's off the field that really makes Max a leader, in our opinion. Max plays with heart. Max also is the most selfless kid that's famous that I ever knew. And I always tease him. I was just teasing him about that because he's only in himself. He doesn't realize how special he is. So, Max, you're amazing, and we wish you the best of luck. But no matter what happens this weekend, Max, we don't really care because we already know you're a winner. Max Duggan. Um, you know, I haven't really, you know, thought about it, you know, like that. Um, I think, you know, something after the trip, you know, you'll be able to reflect on it. But, you know, something to look forward to, you know, it's a huge honor, especially, you know, for me and my family, for this team and TCU. Just to get this opportunity to go there, you know, put TCU on a national, um, you know, platform for a lot of people to see um, our story, our program, our school down here in Fort Worth, you know, that small, that small school in Fort Worth that everyone talks about. So it's going to be good. Max, can you believe this is happening? Yeah, you know, it's a dream come true. It's something that, you know, as a little kid, you wish, um, you know, watch the Heisman ceremony that you can, you know, be up there one day. Um, you know, through a lot of the um, ups and downs of, of, you know, my career in the past four years, being around with these guys, being around, you know, these students, this university. Um, it's something that you know you're gonna remember, and, and this university can remember for a long time. Max, what's the recognition been like from home? Because I think research, and you might be the first Hosman Trophy finalist ever from Council Bluffs. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it's um, I've had a lot of good text messages, a lot of phone calls from people that you know, you know, I have a lot of respect for that support me. So it, it's just been a lot of fun to you know get Council Bluffs on the map. You know, I know another guy. Uh, Joe Burrow, he was born in Ames, Iowa, so, you know, that's a, another fellow Iowan that, you know, was able to kind of win the trophy. But it's just been a lot of, uh, um, you know, good recognition for Iowa and Council Plus and, you know, Southwest Iowa. Max, you, uh, Max, you talked about your love for TCU and the Fort Worth community. Is there anything special that makes your connection so strong? You know, I think it's just how close this, you know, community is and the love that, you know, people have for Fort Worth and TCU. Um, you kind of get some other schools where it's like, um, you know, people say they love that school, and it really depends on if they win on Saturdays. But I think there's more, more than that at TCU. You know, people love um, getting to interact with each other. It's more about more than sports, you know, academically, things of that sort. Um, Fort Worth, the community, you know, people always like coming back. If you don't leave Fort Worth, you're always going to come back. You're going to support TCU, um, support this university. And I think that's what makes this place different than a lot of other places. Matt, you seem to be more proud of Yeah, again, you know, I, I think it kind of gets get lost in a lot of these awards is that football is still a team sport. You know, there's a lot going on um, than one guy pulling the trigger. But, again, yeah, it shows everything else to, you know, the guys in this locker room that um, I get to play with, this coaching staff, the support that this university has given us. Um, it shows a lot to them of just the support that they, they put into us, uh, the amount of time that they put in to us. But uh, it's going to be good for all those guys that, you know, don't really get recognized um, kind of in the dark uh, to kind of get their name put out there. It would seem through this whole time that there hasn't been a moment that's felt too big for you. But as you now go through these last 24, 48 hours being named the Heisman Finals, and you're at the Mavs game last night, and they're showing Odell Beckham on the screen, and then they're showing you on the screen. I mean, you're, you're being recognized on that kind of level right now as, as one of the – famed people of Dallas, right? I mean, has that kind of stuff sunk in for you? And what has this ride been like for you even just since Saturday? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. You know, it's a fortunate, you know, position to be in. 
Um, but I think the, the thing that really comes down to it is just, you know, staying humble, you know, remembering where you came from, all the things, you know, the lows that you've been in, um, seeing all the hard work that, you know, I put in, that people around me have put in, um, you know, with me, people in my corner that have supported me. So I think that's, you know, where it comes down to is, uh, you know, it's an honor to be in that position to get recognized like this, but you got to, you know, stay humble, um, you know, be polite, you know, all that sort to the people that, you know, helped you get here. You mentioned lows. What, what lows have gone through your mind in the last couple of days that have maybe kept you humble, and how does that maybe allow you to appreciate where you are now? Yeah, there's a lot of things, um, you know, of, of the, you know, the dark days of the last three years or last four years of, you know, losing football games, things of that sort, um, certain things with coaching staffs. Um, it's just a lot of things that, you know, have kind of put you down low. You know, confidence has kind of uh, gotten lower as well. But, you know, you, you keep getting back up. You know, a lot of guys around me have helped me, and a lot of people in my circle have helped me. And, you know, I'm grateful for all those people. Max, what was that conversation like when your, when your mom and dad, when you learned that you were a finalist for the Heisman? Yeah, it was, um, you know, they were happy. It was something that, I, you know, I could share with them. You know, they've helped me more than, you know, they'll ever know the amount of time that they put in you know, with me, whether it's in all sports of, you know, after baseball games, you know, after I go 0 for 4, but I got to have my mom throw me soft toss in the batting cage, you know, at 10 o'clock at night because I wanted to get off my mind, you know, all those trips to sporting events, spending all this time and money of traveling and all that. So, you know, they've helped me more than anything or more than they'll ever know. Max, you graduated a couple weeks, though. Yeah. Will you get a chance to participate in ceremonies or will you wait until the next? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll be walking um, in December in a couple weeks. Max, how excited are you for studying for your finals? Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> yep, all my professors already told them I'm ready to go. Can't wait for it. It's going to be straight A's. Have you heard from anyone where you looked at your phone and went, wow, that's kind of cool? Has there anyone stood out to you? Um, you know, I have some, uh, yeah, some guys that you know, are from kind of the area that have reached out to me that are some big-time names. I have some guys, some older guys that from TCU that – you know, I didn't play with, but you know, are in the are in the league that have been watching us, and you know, have some you know congratulation texts. So it's been a it's been fun to see those guys kind of you know continue to follow this program, um, you know, be supportive of us because you know those guys you know built this whole thing. How about your current teammates? What has their reaction been? Is there anything that sticks out to you? Is there, is there one comment from one of your teammates that, that sticks out? Yeah, there's just a lot of love from those guys. You know, I've gotten you know a lot of text messages, a lot of phone calls, things of that sort, and. You know, that's why I wanted them. I, I want them to be, you know, proud of it because this is an award for them too. Um, you know, they're up for it. Those guys, you know, mean a lot to me. And um, having them kind of get recognized as well, you know, it's not a, it's not a, you know, a personal achievement. But seeing those guys be proud of it, and I, I want them to be proud of it and kind of take it on as their own. So, Max, after y'all beat Texas, I saw a picture of you and Coach Pete hugging. I think he said something along the lines of, you know, go win the college football playoff. Go in there, you. Me and Mrs. P are going to go and root for you. Has he reached out to you, and what does that mean? Yeah, so um, I haven't even looked at my phone yet from <laughs> last night. I put on Do Not Stare, so I, I don't even know who, who's texting me, who's called me, things of that sort. I've kind of seen a couple of them. But, yeah, he had a lot of good things to say. Um, you know, he congratulated me on the, on the Johnny Unitas Award. So he, um, just a lot of good things to say. He's continuing to watch. He's supportive. You know, um, he loves all these guys in this locker room, and, and I know he's thinking about us. Max, you're in a really weird spot in the sense that you played four years, but because of 2020, everybody gets another year. Do you, do you want to come back for another year? Yeah, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, I've talked to my parents a lot about it. I haven't, you know, i got to make a decision, um, you know, pretty soon about what I'm doing. I've, I've talked to a lot of people, a lot of different um, voices to get as much information as I can to, you know, just make the best decision that I can, you know, for myself, my family, you know, trying to figure it all out. But um, I haven't made up my decision, but, you know, I'm going to probably, you know, Decide pretty quickly. You get a new suit for New York. I do. Yep. A little, some purple in there for TCU, so it's gonna be. Uh, hopefully, it looks good. You, you seem to be as proud of this award for the school as much, if not more, for, more so for yourself. Do you? Yeah, because I think to be that kind of guy. I mean, I think you know when you get this type of you know um, recognition and you're a finalist for a type of award like this, um, it means so much to obviously me and my family, but. I think it's something for, you know, this fan base, this program can be proud of. You know, I know how proud we are of, you know, the past winners of, you know, LT being a finalist, you know, of, of Davey O'Brien and, you know, Andy Dolan and all those guys that have gotten the awards. And, you know, we're proud of that, and, you know, still to this day. So I think this is just something that, you know, they can be proud of, continue to um, 
have for you know the rest of this program and this university. So it's uh, it's good for everybody. Go back to early September, start of the year. You're not named the starter. Could you have imagined this moment standing here as a Heisman finalist in your wildest dreams? Yeah, I don't know what um, I would have said to you if you said you know this is where it was going to end up at. Um, but I think that's what happens when you just stay the course, um, stay at a place that you love, continuing to work hard and be surrounded by great people. Because, you know, even without this, if I wasn't standing up here, I'd still be as happy, you know, as I am today, you know, whether I was playing or not. But, you know, again, to be here at TCU when we're winning, you know, that's what I wanted, you know, when I came out, uh, out of high school. When kids are growing up and, and they want to play football, they want to play college football, and they have those dreams of winning a Heisman, did you ever have those dreams growing up, just having a chance to one day be named the best player in college football? Yeah, you know, it's something that, you know, I was always a you know football nerd, college football nerd. So when you're younger, you know it'd be Saturday night and you're watching the Heisman ceremony. You know you're watching guys like you know RG3 and Baker and um, you know Jameis Winston and you just, all those guys growing up. Um, you know Eric Crouch from Nebraska. You know when I was um, when I was young. You know he was a, a local guy that was able to win it. So you see just all those names and you want to be you know up there um, you know one day because you know that you know that that means a lot. That means you have a successful career. Um, and all that. So it's just something that you kind of grow up wanting to be at. The votes are already in, so the die is cast here, but so it's not like you can campaign necessarily, but why do you think you should be that? You know, I don't know if I um, really know exactly why why I should be the Heisman, um, things of that sort. You know, I think it's a great award that, you know, voters have watched everybody play, you know, seen everybody compete, but um, just being able to get recognized and be able to have a shot to, to have that opportunity to, to win this award just would uh, it just mean a lot for me, my family, a lot of other people. But um, you know, just fortunate to kind of be in this position right now. Will you have an iPad with Michigan uh, film on it when you actually travel around? Yeah, yep. Yeah, we'll be uh, yeah, we'll be watching because you know there's probably a little bit you know bigger fish to fry out there. So who's going to New York? Yeah. So my parents, my girlfriend, my brother and sister, they'll be out there. Um, I have some other family members that I know wanted to make the trip, so we'll see if they uh, get a flight out there or not. Anything else for Max? Max, have you, uh, have you been to New York at all? Or what, are your, like, what are your impressions of like, maybe going there and just seeing like, the city and stuff? Yeah, I've never been to New York, so it's going to be fun. You know, I've always wanted to go to New York City, especially in you know, Christmas time. You know, you get a little um, cold weather, a little snow. Hopefully not too much snow. I haven't even checked the weather report. But uh, no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun, though. got to find all my cold weather gear again. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks.